Hi, Johnny Engineer Termel at the Toronto Expo, July 16th, 18th, with Derek Francisco, the Hi, organizer who put this together and helped us with our booth. We've got most of the Polkoa cases going on in the province, and who set the Derek Francisco precedent. And this is how I've been explaining it to people. Derek was busted for possession, cultivation, uh, possession for the purpose, all the usual stuff. And then he got an exemption. And he knew that the Hitzig decision said that all you got to do is prove you're sick at the time. So he got his exemption to prove he was sick at the time. So the Crown said, okay, we'll charge you with sign for possession, guilty, and house arrest. And he said, no, 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 no. I got an exemption. I want my equipment back. So the lawyer went off and asked and came back and said, okay, you can have your equipment back if you sign possession, guilty. And then he said, no, no, I want my marijuana back too. And the lawyer's going, you're never going to get that. Go ask. So the lawyer goes and asks, come back, says, Der okay, Derek, no charges, all dropped except possession, no house arrest, get your equipment back, get your marijuana back. And Derek said, no, I ain't pleading guilty to a law that's dead. I'm going to go see my prohibition first. So they withdrew all the charges, gave him back all his stuff. And from now on, anytime anybody gets busted and qualifies for an exemption, we quote the Francisco precedent to get everything back because it proves you were sick at the time. So, Derek, have you had a lot of fun in the last year since you've been in those cases? This expo has been great. The Cheating Self Expo has been great this year. We got a lot of turnouts here to the booth. Everybody's so interested. We did a lot of It's great. All the cases, yeah, every case is great. You know, we learned so much more. We got more evidence. A lot of them are dead. So, and more gonna... people coming up who say, hey, I've been jerked around too. But yeah. by the way, what's the new API? Yeah, yeah. Here, so Drew is here. All the old Pierre Drouin, Real Nate, Robert Niano, Terry Parker, Gary, Doug and Murray Nielsen, James Turner. He'll be next. He'll be he'll do this next. Real will do this next. Of course, Celebra! This is the guy. We had we had a rough night. Yeah, these these guys are allowed to go to the vapor lounge and get vaporized, you know. Hey, I'm as straight as they come. <laughs> so anyway, Derek, of all the most, what's the most interesting experience you've had in court so far? Oh, it's got to be the Palace of Pass. I mean, that, that, that admission was pretty damn good. And, uh, yeah, that's know. when the Crown Attorney went, yeah, yeah, he was busted bef after we fixed the first flaw. And we answered, yeah, yeah, why didn't you fix the second flaw too? That's right. <laughs> you know, the law was dead from 01 to 03. Why is it dead from 03 to 2010 now? It's the same situation. It's the same retrospective period of invalidity dating back to 2003, December 3rd. So how many cases do you, are, we, are going online right now? Oh, God, I think we got like 15 cases going on now, John. I'm not too sure of the exact figures, but I must imagine it's got to be up around 15. And I think we got a couple more today. Yeah, and yesterday. People, uh, people that are yeah. going to be filing. Yeah. There. It's got to be close to 20 cases. They haven't. Well, the ones we're interested in are the ones going to the Court of Appeal with the Mayad on the 27th. So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to Derek, who's been keen on the team and actually got more resistance fighting done than ever before. A real asset to the club. And uh, I just wanted to get her on record. Thank you very much, Derek. Doc Weedlaw. Doc Weedlaw, okay.